Hey everyone, Steven Weigel here, and I'd like to just talk about some more ear training tips with Blackwood 10, which is a very interesting symmetrical 10 note scale, most often found in 15 tone equal temperament. So because it's usually found here, I'm going to talk about it within the context of 15 tone equal temperament, and most of the tips I'm going to say are actually going to apply to 15 because it's a great equal temperament for singing steps that you aren't used to. Uh, so this is really kind of like a, a stepwise training video in general. Now with Blackwood 10, what we have is we have five tone equal temperament. And then we have that shifted up just one. So that would be here. And then if you have those two things together, you get uh, Blackwood 10. I'm actually going to use the other mode of it for this video, uh, the mode that begins with the major chord. So you could call this something like C major. You can call this D or E flat, F or E, G or A flat, and then B flat or A. And to understand what I mean there, you should watch my video that I will be posting soon on uh, notating 15 tone equal temperament as three separate chains of five equal fifths. But for now, uh, all I really want to explain are the intervals that are the same and different. So in Blackwood 10, obviously, we have major chords. And we kind of have a 1-4-5 progression, actually, because chords can still move by fifths in the five tone equal tempered system. This top note is like so, 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 la, so, so, so. But since the proportions are slightly different, this la doesn't go very high. So, 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 la. This might be a 12 tone equal tempered one, and here's the one in 15 tone equal temperament. Da, 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 da. They're kind of about a quarter tone off of each other. So lots of things in 15 tone equal temperament are quarter tones off and it doesn't really have a major second. Uh, so what I mean by that is every time you sing something that you think sounds like a major second, it's good to check yourself and see if you can fit that interval within others or learn to recognize the sounds themselves. So in 15 tone equal temperament, our major third divides into five equal parts. And so in Blackwood 10, I often contextualize this by saying, okay, there's a step of two, in between a major and minor second, a step of one, our minor second is about the same, and then another step of two. So it's just a different way to split up the major third where our major second would be kind of right in between these two notes here, going by scale degree, like if we have 10 scale degrees of Blackwood 10, like, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And most of those scale degrees just line up with things you know. So melodically, it kind of sounds like an octatonic scale, but then you get used to the new 15 equal territory. It's almost like our little thing that's in between a whole step and a half step sounds like it's acting like a major second, and then our minor second still acts like a minor second. So for scale degrees uh, in a warm-up in Blackwood 10, if I were just practicing dividing the major third into five, I would try uh, singing along with it and then checking myself later. So like, oh, one, two, three, two, one, oh. And seeing if I can do the minor third. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, four, three, two, one. I'm pretty close. Yeah, so it's all about just thinking about dividing a major third and a minor third into different parts. Namely, the major third divides into five and a minor third divides into four. So I also have a little like Blackwood 10 exercise that I made up. Get this point across so that you can sing it with the chords. And it's talking about 15 tone equal temperament. So if we were just in C major or the Blackwood 10 mode that uses C major as its starting point, uh, the melody goes, I can sing in Blackwood 10. I can sing in Blackwood 10. So the idea is that the melody goes like, 
if we were thinking in diatonic solfege, do, so, la. But the la is really low, right? Because it's our two step in 15 and we don't have a major second. Do, so, la. Imagine you were in 12 and you were singing do, so, la, te, do. Something like that. You would have a two step, then a one step, and then another two step before you would get back to the main note. But try squeezing that into a major third. So, um, trying it without the keyboard, it might sound something like if we were comparing it. Do, so, la, te, do, te, la, so. And then with 15 tone inflection, I'm pushing that last do down to T. Do, so, la, da, ti, da, da, da. So your goal is basically to push that down to T. And this goes back to approaching a destination in Zen harmonic ear training, which is something I talk about in another video with a few examples, although there are endless, endless examples that you can try. These are the best for stepwise motion in 15 tone equal temperament. Uh, fitting five uh, chromatic steps in a major third and four in a minor third, although in Blackwood 10, you have these little configurations where uh, if you're within the mode, or I guess diatonic in Blackwood 10, you have this instance where you have do, zero, two, one, two, two, one, two, and you sing both of the notes that go over the major second if you're splitting a major third, but then if you're splitting a minor third, you have a zero, one, two, one, two, one, zero. So that's sort of the idea there. And my song does both of those things. It goes, um, you know, like, do, so, la, something like la, da, 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 da. But you have to be careful not to think of do, so, la, te. You have to be careful not to think of that te as being a chromatic step away from t, since we're in 15 tone equal temperament now. Whatever you want to call it. We're kind of making up the solfege as we go, but it's very warped because of what 15 gives us. So, da, 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 da. And that's a really good step to check. Because based on what I've told you about squashing the interval, you might be really tempted to sing te, t here instead of an actual something that sounds like a neutral second. You don't want to sing this as a minor second, right? So that goes back to another tactic that I talk about in aiming for intervals and various other ear training, uh, which is checking intervals that your categorical perception will sort of poison you to sing incorrectly. I talked about that in singing the uh, five large, four small scale in 14 tone equal temperament. So now I can go through this first part and with all the aiming we talked about, I can pretty much get it right. Do, so, la, aiming low. Right, singing and playing along. And then this next part, I just split the minor third and four. So it's kind of like a parallel and it leads back to the tonic chord. I can sing with 15 notes. So that last part is a little bit zen, but you want to hear the five chord in there. Because the five chord does go back to the one chord, if we're thinking in terms of traditional music theory. Okay, good. So, that minor part here... I can sing with 15 notes. Now that part is pretty easy. We bounce down a perfect fourth, like how before we bounced down a perfect fourth. I can sing, I can sing with, sing with, sing with, and you need to make sure that's big enough. Sing with 15 notes. Now, you might be tempted to go, I can sing with 15 notes, and like make it really high, because basically you could think about from this note here, the thing that sort of acts like uh, scale degree 4 in diatonic land, but it's really 5th scale degree in Blackwood 10. This note right here. If 
squashing the minor third itself and thinking about singing like a minor second up, then a squashed major, then a squashed minor. If that doesn't work as well for you, starting from this note and going with 15 notes is the best way to aim that. So then that last part becomes, you know, I can sing with making sure that's a really low sounding neutral second. Sing with 15 notes. You can also make sure that 15 sounds like it's going to resolve, just like in traditional tonality. And we have sort of a sharp sounding chord in general, because we've got like, you know, a sharp fifth and a sharp major third, the same one we have in 12 tone equal temperament, uh, with a little bit of a more pure minor third. Good. So then the song, taken all together, uh, go ahead and try and sing along with what you learned in this video, and then if that doesn't work, you can keep trying, and of course practice can make you better. Here we go! I can sing with 15 notes I can sing with 15 notes Yeah! So the melody by its own I can sing with 15 notes I can sing with 15 notes. Good. So then you could do things like just uh, hitting random like major and minor thirds and trying to sing the stepwise pattern in between. It's like, you know, maybe I could hit like, uh, I don't even know what random third is anymore. Bum 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 da, 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 da. middle part. I was thinking if I'm ascending, like, okay, I'm going to sing a really low major second, which counts as a neutral second here, then a minor second that's far away enough from the top note that it sounds neutral second-y, or like a small major second. And then if I hit some random, like, minor third, like, uh... could try singing it like I do in Blackwood 10. The goal is to get that gap here. Of course, you can also split the minor third in half in 15 tone equal temperament, and that's something that Blackwood 10 doesn't do. Porcupine 8 does that, and Triforce 9 does that. Those are two other really great modes to use in 15 tone equal temperament, but uh, you can learn to do that by singing the 11th harmonic and hitting something that you think sounds right in between the notes. So maybe I'll have a video on that another time. But yeah, that's uh, that's how I sing in Blackwood 10. Listening for major and minor chords to get the sonorities, and then to find things like the non-major seconds, i.e. the neutral second and the five equal tone, I am using major and minor thirds stepwise to inform where those land, and or just learning it by rote. So... Hopefully that works out for you, and this is a helpful video about Blackwood 10 and sort of the ear training strategies you can use when you're dividing major and minor thirds.